Hello, um, my name is Escher. This video is going to be about my experience in the Lord's Recovery Group. Um, I was a part of this group for six years. Uh, I was first contacted on the university campus. Um, you know, at this point of my life, I had very little knowledge of the Bible. I'd gone to church, I'd done all the youth groups, etc, etc. But I still had a very poor relationship with Jesus. You know, because being Christian was seen as something uncool during my teenage years. Also, a lot of the churches I went to growing up, you know, were very lukewarm. They never really encouraged me to live for Jesus. It was more, it was more about, you know, just having fun and, you know, being a double-minded friend of the world, which, of course, James chapter 4 speaks against. So yeah, I did. I didn't really have a, a great experience as a Christian growing up. So I was initially contacted by a local church campus worker on the university campus. Um, the university campuses are their main recruiting grounds. Um, you know, their main fishing grounds. Their main fishing ponds. Um, you know, the majority of their recruits tend to be tend to be college students around probably 18 to 21 years old, uh, roughly. And, you know, of course, this is a very vulnerable age bracket when... Sorry. Um, you know, where it's easy to be deceived by many things. Uh, you know, drugs, alcohol, um, all sorts of things can happen at this age. Um, and also finding friends, you know, I think finding friends and... Being accepted by a group of people is a big area of importance for people in this age group, uh, particularly those who have maybe had a difficult high school experience. Uh, uh, you know, they've maybe been bullied throughout their high school. Uh, so finding a group of college students, um, you know, can be a, a positive step. Um, and this is something that this this group, this cult, um, absolutely preys on. Uh, a lot of vulnerable, non-discerning college students are getting absolutely sucked into this cult through their um, through the cult's extreme love bombing, opaque tactics. When this cult first meets you, they will almost always hide who they really are. They will make it seem like they're just you know normal, happy Christians who you know love Jesus, love the Lord. Um, you know, they will not tell you anything about what about what group they belong to, who they read, and what they want from you. And that's exactly what they did to me. During the initial contact stage, the main goal of the campus um, workers is to pretty much love bomb you as much as they possibly can. Now they'll be inviting you to the house, to their house, uh, giving you food, and being super duper nice. <laughs> And, you know, to a non-discerning college student, um, they might think, wow, you know, you know, uh, this guy, this girl uh, is really, really nice. I feel happy. I feel really happy and accepted. Um, and this was exactly my experience. Uh, you know, and all of this, all of this is to what they call warm you up. So you'll be more open to receive, uh, you know, the Lord's up-to-date ministry. Uh, which is also Witness Lee's ministry, apparently. Um, you know, Witness Lee, you know, he self-proclaimed himself as the oracle of God speaking. You know, the up-to-date minister, uh, and according to Witness Lee, his ministry is the recovery of the apostles ministry. <laughs> you know, that being the Apostle Paul's ministry, who wrote half of the New Testament. Humble. Um and of course, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't dare tell you any of this up front. Like I said, during the initial stage, they will be love bombing you to the extreme, while at the same time hiding who they really are. Also, during this period, um, you know, the new prospective student who is being, you know, sucked into this cult, even though they don't know they're being sucked into a cult, you know, they might have a few questions for the campus workers. Um, you know, they might be wanting to discern the campus worker's spirit to see uh, if they're from God or not. 
and the campus workers, you know, they don't like this. You know, they don't like it when the students think for themselves. Um, you know, this is where the campus worker has to be really, really careful. You know, they have to be on their game. You know, that because, you know, the last thing they want is to give away too much information uh, to the student. Because, you know, you know, with Google, you know, got Google these days, um, you can just search on Google and type in witnessly Wolf's recovery and you can find out, you know, everything about the group. And there's been a lot of stuff on the internet exposing this group as a cult. So, you know, the campus workers have to be really careful. Um, yeah, and I, I remember also during my initial period in this cult, uh, I asked the person who was, you know, brainwashing me, I asked him, um, you know, do you meet at a church? And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. We meet in a, in a church. And I was like, where is it? You know, what's the name? And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you know we, we don't have a name. We call ourselves um, the church in such and such city because that's what the first church was called in the book of Acts, you know, the church in Antioch. Um, so, yeah, I thought, yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but... You know, my relationship with this guy was just growing, 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 rapidly growing. And, um, you know, it was biblical, so um, it must be okay. That's what I thought. Um, so, yeah, so, so what happens is the campus workers will continue to meet, generally continue to meet with the student, just love bombing them to the extreme. Um, and this, this will continue to happen until the campus workers feel like the student is ready to progress, you know, progress in the church life, even though the student has no idea, you know, no idea what's going on. Um, yeah, so in the, in the next step, what, what usually happens is the campus worker, you know, they might invite the student to a university campus meeting where, you know, all the other students are being you know, all the other students being brainwashed meet together and they, you know, sing songs and all that. Um, or they might invite them to a, a home meeting, um, which is, you know, which is similar to a, to a uni, uni campus meeting. You know, but that's only if the student is ready. You know, if the, if the student is open to receive, you know, the, the truth. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, even in these meetings, in these campus meetings, you know, they, they're still going to be really careful about uh, how much information they give away on the Lord's recovery. Now, you know, unless all the students are, you know, hardcore, dedicated, seek, you know, members of the, of the Lord's recovery, um, you know, they might go full on, but, you know, they're still going to be really careful. Um, yeah, so, so in this next video, I'm going to discuss my experience uh, in this stage. I will specifically discuss uh, my experience with the Christians on campus, or, or you know, they had a different name where I was, but it's, it's, it's the same group. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a fun video. It'll be longer, so you know, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, thank you, brother Paul, for allowing allowing me to speak on your channel. Uh, thank you. Uh, God bless. Uh,